Hello friends, uh, welcome back to Bit Info 10. I'm Vijay. Today we are going to further discuss uh, on shortcuts. So those of you who have not gone through my previous video can go through the link that I provided in the description. Uh, today's topic on shortcut is that uh, we're going to use NFC tags. So I'm going to show you what those NFC tags are and these these are uh, this is these are like sticker forms uh, where you can actually tap on it and then your your phone is going to do the task that you have mentioned so today we're going to uh, look at uh, three uh, examples one is to read out top news headlines at any point of time when you tap it onto that um, nfc tag it it will try to read um, the top three news during that particular time then um, we will have uh, NFC used for speaking out the weather forecast. It could be an hourly forecast or a daily forecast, which uh, can set up. And third is about sending your current location URL to one or more recipients that you can choose from. Uh, so uh, before that, um, just uh, to tell you briefly what an NFC means, uh, it's a near field communication and many of the mobiles today are nfc enabled in fact in android mobiles you have to enable the nfc uh, in the settings but otherwise in iphone starting from 7 model uh, you don't need to enable life uh, you know nfc as such it is always uh, on you need to tap on on devices which are nfc enabled and uh, if they are transmitting rfids and um, you know you can uh, write uh, certain tasks to perform so so let's uh, begin uh, so let's look at these examples one by one these are the nfc tags you can get it from amazon they are quite cheap and these uh, tags that I'll show you uh, in fact they are uh, sticker forms so you can peel them and you can see the back of it it's it's uh, it's a chip that is powered by the device that is getting connected to so in fact it gets the power uh, when I connect or when I try to uh, communicate with my phone as such. so it takes the power from the phone itself so it doesn't require any particular battery or anything of that sort so that comes very cheap can get it from Amazon so let's go to the shortcut I'll go to the automation create personal automation then scroll down to locate uh, NFC you can see here so when I click on it, it gives me an option to scan so I can scan the NFC tag so bring to the top uh, antenna area then you can see that it's asking for the name to be put for this uh, tag so I'm going to use the name called name as read news because we're going to use this for reading news so now in the next uh, it's a familiar screen where you have to put the action so now I'm going to add the action as uh, uh, before that uh, I'll I'll just show a demo of uh, speak tests there's an, a feature called speak, speak test where uh, you can actually type a text which the phone will try to feed it back so it's going to uh, you know the 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 voice that you have selected with which you can uh, you can read it back so you can change the rate pitch or even language or in, in fact, you can change the voice also. I'm just selecting some at this point of time. So we'll Hello. do a testing How by put, pressing the play button. So, as you can see, so it reads out whatever the text. But just remember that uh, we're going to read the news articles. So a step before than this it would be to you know add the article there. So I'm going to add and uh, so I'm going to delete and add again. So I'll go to a first post, uh, you know, a URL 
of news url in fact you can you can check out any other urls where uh, you can get the news in a text form so i'm going to say get article as the option i'm going to say get article using safari reader so that's what i need to check and url i can paste firstpost.com and i'll just do a testing to see whether how it, how the so it asks for a, a permission which you have to give so that uh, uh, it doesn't get stuck while it's run so now it's running we will see like you know how the results are going to be so as you can see it comes in a very textual format so then reading out it's pretty going to be perfect so you can check it out uh, different urls and see that what the results are going to be and accordingly you can put it so it will try to read all the text which are there so you know you can always check out so when i use a speak test uh, you can see it picks up the article automatically as the from the first step you can all okay. set that then the I'm just the turning for the test. party last week following Rapa's resignation had taken off as the chief minister so it's working so i'll close it and try to finish it i will disable the ask before running so that it runs automatically done so then i think we are done with the news thing so all what i have to do is to just tap it on that sticker i mean on the tag Bame, who was elected as yeah. the new leader of the bjp legislature party last week following edi Rapa's resignation had taken off as the chief minister on July 28th, first cricket India versus England. First test, live cricket score, root. Sibley looked to steady England post lunch India versus England first test live updates. A shared session, India managing to get two breakthroughs. Two reviews there as well, only one successful though. Sibley has got his eye in, root looks assured too. Although a couple of streaky fours from his play towards the end of the session. Stay tuned for the second session of the day. So it has read all the news and it keeps changing uh, throughout the day. So you know, whenever you tap it, probably you'll be hearing different news uh, as it is updated in that site. So it's a good feature at any point of time. You don't want to read any newspaper or you don't want to, um, uh, you know, go through any site as such. You know? So we will go to the. Uh, Next example, I'm not going to use the automation option here, rather my automation, I will just click on that add option and I'll say get weather and I'll say get weather forecast as you can see. So it gives you an option of uh, getting a daily or hourly weather or you want to ask each time of the current location. So let's see what it provides as a output it might take a little while to run why because it involves the location fetching of the location that's where the maximum amount of time goes so make sure your location is always on when you're running it as you can see the result is 24 degrees centigrade and partly cloudy but at the same time if you see at the end of it it shows the number of results the total number of lines which has come in is 24 so i I probably only want the first line, right? Whatever that is showing right now. Uh, it could be just the duplicacy of the first one itself. So I don't want it to be spoken out 24 times, right? So I just want the first item. So let's see. There is another option called get items. So I'll select that. Get items from list. So it gets the first item of the weather conditions from the previous step. So, so it all sets up as you select. The sequence it automatically selects. Third is to speak text and it picks up from the item which you said get first item that the first item goes into that speak text part of it. So text takes that automatically. So I'm running it for the test. So it's still running the first step. 24 degrees Celsius and partly cloudy. That's what we want, right? So just first line to be read out. So I'm going to finalize this. I uh, will give a name called as uh, weather now. Sorry. 
so it is saved as a shortcut so i've created it as a shortcut now what it requires it to be attached it with the nfc tab so what it means is uh, any existing shortcuts you can actually attach it to the uh, tag so now i'm scanning it so i can use the same name or any different name so i will use the same name as weather now So now the next step is to add action is to attach it with the shortcut so i will say run select the shortcut so now when i say run shortcut as an option on the shortcut you will see the list of the shortcuts which i have created so there is a weather now i will attach that weather now to this one okay, you can also attach any other variable as well so that it keeps changing the name as So that is also possible. So I'm going to finalize this with ask before running as disabled, so it runs automatically. So now I have a shortcut. I have an automation that actually runs that shortcut, right? So at any point of time, you can click on that shortcut. So it starts running. So you can always test, you know, before attaching it to or before running it through the. Twenty-four degrees Celsius and partly cloudy. and in my previous video i've already shown you how to put the shortcut into the home screen so that way you can also use the shortcut for clicking as such otherwise now this is attached to nfc 24 degrees so celsius and partly cloudy and it's going to speak out the forecast so likewise you can actually think of what else that you can um create out of your creativity so let's see the third example uh, where we are going to send the location url wherever that i am so i will use the same uh, or automation and i'll scan the nfc So every time when you are using the same sticker uh, NFC tag, so it keeps on rewriting, so that uh, every time uh, you know you are changing it. So so this time I am using it for sending my location. So I named it. So then I'll add an action. I will get the current location. So I'll say. get current location or location as you can see you can select the current location now the next step would be to send the message so i will just use uh, send message and in the text part it automatically takes the current location part but i have to click on the current location select on the top of that location and then change it to url so inside that and i'm going to use it uh, use the recipient as my own number and you can add one or more people to it um, whomever that you want to in this location to you know so now i have two steps get current location and uh, send message so i'm going to test this first see how it runs so it's taking the current location still and then it's sent so now i got the message back so when i click on it So um, let's uh, see the message. So now, as you can see, um, it was sent as a maps, and then I received. And I can see the preview by tapping on it. And then further, when I tap it, I can see the list satellite picture itself with the latitude, longitude information, and as well as the full address uh, with the zip code. and you can actually have the direction as well so you can click on it to drive okay so we have tested it so next is to ask before running it will disable so it runs automatically <coughs> okay so um, so we're going to tap it on the nfc and see whether once again 
So it is running silently at the back. I'm not going to use any speak test anything up here, otherwise it defies the purpose. So it just sends the location silently to the one or more recipients. It all depends on your purpose. Okay. So you can drive, you can get the estimation as well. And if you are moving, you can keep tapping it so that you can get the current location all the time. So now, as in the use of it, so what I thought of, uh, you know, putting it in a bag, let's say, and then you know, from the outer cover itself, uh, you can see that, you know, it detects and it can shun in the. So, as you see, these are just a few examples uh, I've shown, but there are plenty that are available in the YouTube where you can see whether how they are uh, used, uh, you know, in different scenarios. Uh, for example, you can use it for sharing the Wi-Fi. Uh, details to the guest uh, they come in in case if they have to use your internet um, you know you can just have to you know give them the stack to tap in or they can just tap it and you know get the information of the wi-fi so where you need not have to share the wi-fi password and you know that stuff uh, similarly you can use um, nfc to control smart devices in your home for example you can control the uh, the intensity of the brightness of the of the bulbs or you can switch it on or off uh, a certain bulb at certain rooms um, also you can remotely control as well uh, as far as uh, smart devices are concerned you can uh, use it for uh, you know warming your room by switching on the room heater before you start you know you can have a have a uh, shortcut uh, set there or a tag which you can have it in your car or something where you tap it and it starts warming up your room by the time you reach home you can set a particular timer like you know within half an hour it switches off and by the time you reach home it will be warmer for the cold regions right so it could be a useful thing um, similarly, you can have a sticker on the car where you can tap it, you can call somebody uh, without even swiping through or something. Of course, you have CD options where you can uh, uh, do a voice command, but uh, sometimes it's quite a handy thing. Um, so well, that's pretty much uh, to it and if I find uh, some more unique uh, way of uh, using NFC so I would definitely be sharing in the next videos. Um, I'm going to uh, share more videos on programming and as well as uh, certain um, trendy uh, um, you know uh, information uh, in the successive videos. So please uh, share and subscribe. Uh, so we'll see you soon. Thank you.